Hey everybody, welcome to another one of Chris's beer reviews. I may not look like it, uh, judging by what I'm wearing, but this fella right here just finished getting his load handling and rigging certificate and his overhead crane operating certificate. So a new career will be in the future. Uh, in the near future, let's hope. Aside from that, as you can tell by the title that you selected, that I will be reviewing Corona Extra, La Cerveza, Ma Fide. <laughs> um, it says, Brewed in Mexico by Cerveceria Modelo. Um, it is the 330 milliliter bottle at 4.6% ABV. And as you can tell just by the bottle, this is very clear beer. Uh, we got a cool looking little Corona Extra cap. We'll bring it closer to your attention. Ooh, look at that. It comes through. Now, for all those who forgot about my... Oh, no. I can't use this. I forgot to rinse it. Basically, I broke this glass. I went out and I bought it again. So I'm just going to grab the glass, which is like, a, like literally seven feet from the computer and I'll be making my way back to the computer now where I'm gonna be drinking out of this glass instead I got this from a, a crazy pack I still can't name the brewery uh, so forgive me uh, time to pop oh yeah I forgot this one's so broken Whoa, what a pop. Look at the smoke. The smoke is filling within. There you go. That was all smoke. Now, just like expected, I've had Corona in the past, a long time ago. I'm drinking it straight. You should be having this with a lime, okay? The lime helps bring out the flavors. Um, I'm not drinking with a lime, so this is just going to literally taste like a smooth, skunky beer. So here goes. Fuck. Fuck off, people. Fuck off. Sorry. <laughs> uh, alright, alright, alright. Yeah! Here it goes. Check it out. I gotta... It, it would have been a one-finger head. I poured it, like, very uh, aggressively. Uh, you can see... Eh, a medium-average-sized amount of uh, carbonated bubbles running through here. And you can tell by looking at the head. It is not a creamy head. It's one of those heads uh, where the carbonated bubbles just happens to disappear and leave incomplete bubbles all over the head. So anyway, forget that. Let's go in for the, the drink. Um, skunk, skunk, skunk. It's all you smell in Corona. Now, out of all the skunky beers in this world, putting aside Heineken, this is the best skunky beer in the world. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this skunky beer. Um, it's not. It's not like some of the things that I don't like about skunky beers is that they're they're very crisp. This one is not crisp. Um, this one is very very smooth, and the carbonation is very well balanced. Uh, it's, you don't get too much carbonation. Um, there isn't too little of carbonation. A well-balanced, wheaty, skunky taste. <clears throat> Actually, I noticed something really cool with, with the bubbles. Um, I'm going to take a sip, and I'm going to let go, and I want everyone to check out the wave of carbonation bubbles that will go through. Well, you can barely see it. It looked better the last time. <clears throat> Corona! Drink it with a lime. This is one of those beers that tastes very likely uh, the same in the bottle as it does out of the bottle. And to be honest with you, I probably prefer putting the lime in the top of a bottle. Uh, there's just something about it. I'm just so used to 
uh, drinking it that way in other countries, I guess, uh, when I've gone on vacation. But you can throw a lime into your glass. There's no problems with that. Now, another beer out there that's uh, surprisingly good um, if you throw something into it, like if you've ever had Rickard's White, it was a new beer maybe about two years ago. It's 2011 right now. And it advertises on the box that you're supposed to, you know, basically buy an orange, uh, an orange, cut it up like you would a lime, and throw the orange into your Rickard's uh, White and just just like uh, the lime, it brings out uh, the flavors in the beer. It makes it taste much more well-rounded of a beer. <sighs> Excuse me. Try it out, both of them. You know, try Rickard's White uh, on its own. Right next to it, have a Rickard's White uh, with the orange. And then do the same for Corona with the lime and Corona on its own. I guarantee you, you will notice a vast difference between them all. Some people like to put in two limes in their Corona, but if you like sweet beers, then I'm sure that'll float your boat, but it doesn't float mine. I'll tell you that, ladies and gentlemen. Anyways, here's to uh, hopefully a new life of a uh, career here, and uh, thanks very much for watching another one of Chris's beer reviews. Don't drink and drive, but drink responsibly, all right? Cheers.